Hi there, I'm Scott, and this is Great Scott Knitting, um, the uh, YouTube channel where I talk about knitting and yarn dyeing and all things along those lines. Welcome, hi. Um, hey, I just wanted to pop in and talk about um, the Westnitz Little Knit Along uh, Mystery Knit Along Shawography Clue Two, uh, which came out on Friday. Um, now, last week, like I like jumped in, both feet raring to go, got things done, and you know, twenty four hours later, I was like done with Clue One. Then Clue Two happened. Uh, there's a lot more knitting in in this one, um, as I, I think he he alluded to at some point somewhere uh, out on the interwebs that Clue Two would be a lot more knitting, um, and it certainly is. Um, but I love again, I love where it's going. Um, I haven't gotten very far. Well, let me see. Let's see. I've gotten into the what I would say maybe the third. Yeah, I'd say I've gotten into the third section of Clue 2. Um, so I'm in the midst of Section 7, the triangles. I just kind of got the first re repeat of that section done. Um, I would have been a lot further along. But I started off on Section, I guess it's Section 5. Yeah, so the slip stitch columns. So I got it started off on Section 5. I was just going, cruising along, got to the end of it realized I had misread uh, which of my colors was color D. And I thought, oh, color D, it's the last color. And so I chose color E for that whole thing. So I had to rip it all the way back, pick up my stitches again, and start clue to all over again um and that was friday night so um i had gotten a great i was gangbusters friday night and then i realized oh my gosh when i got ready to move on to the next color to bring in color to actually bring in color e realizing oh i've been knitting with color e um so i had to rip all that back out re-knit it um like it better with the actual correct colors that are, are there um, and then I was able to cruise forward. Um, then I got to section um, section six, the welts. I have never done welts before. I've done most, all of these other things I've done in one way or another. Short rows, that's not a problem. I've never done the short rows in this particular fashion, but you know, I've done that. I've done uh, the stranded work, or not the stranded work, but the slip stitch work uh, that we saw in column in color one or in clue one. Um, but I never also never had done those I chord loops. But you know, not that wasn't particularly hard. It's easy enough to figure out. Um, but these welts, these gave me pause because I didn't. I actually tried to do them before and and found it that I didn't get it. So it was really good to watch the tutorial so I could get it. Um, but then I didn't, until I actually got it on the needles and was ready to actually do them, I, I was like still very, very, I was thinking, oh, this may be the end of my participation. But I, I was really lucky that I figured it out. And was able, once I got the hang of it, man, I was able to just cruise along with these funny little welts. Um, so, yeah, so here I am so far. And then, of course, then I'm in those, in that triangle section. So there's those welts. Very fun. Uh, there's those loops, which were fun from la at the end of last week. Although most people that um, I saw online were like, will these never end? Um, it seems that... Uh, Mr. West does have a an affinity for the I chord uh, and having long slogs of I cording. Um, but now, so we have these fun little columns and we have these funky little welts coming out. And then we're getting into these uh, triangles. So I'm, this is really fun. So far, looking really cool. I'm loving how the colors are coming out. 
Um, I'm loving how sort of like we, of course, we sort of like introduced all the, all the players up here in the in this in the upper section and introduced everybody, and then we started uh, doing some some fun uh, playing along. Uh, so we have the you know the this color A and the color uh, D and then the color E with color C over the top of it. And we have color B coming back in. And then down here we have that gold and the purple playing with each other. Again, gold and purple. And then my tan color. So gold, purple, tan again. And then back to the dark brown with the plum color so it's just sort of it has this pa a color pattern that's starting to to play so it'll be interesting to see how that uh shifts as uh, i haven't i have not been reading forward in the pattern nor have i played forward in the clue uh the video clue i'm uh, pretty much taking it one section at a time uh, if I'm unsure, then I double, you know, I watch the clue and then I read the pattern and then I move forward. Um, at least that's what I'm doing now to make sure that I'm not messing up the darn colors. Uh, so I don't have to either tink back or uh, rip out. Uh, there's too many fiddly things going on. But loving where it's going, um, I, it, I will be pushing... I have a feeling I'm going to be pushing to get uh, this clue done this week. Um, I think it's going to be uh, uh, down to the down to the wire to get this clue done this week. But loving where it's going, Mr. West, loving where it's going. Um, so because I was so um, ahead of the game last week and was able to get it done. Uh, get the first clue done in like a couple of days. I was like, what am I going to knit on for the rest of the week? I was like, oh, well, I could work on that. You know, I could work on thing, you know, projects that I have on the needles. And then I was like, Meh. let's cast on another shawl. So I cast on another shawl. Um, and it was actually another Stephen West shawl. And yeah, here we are. So I cast on the... And this will look familiar to folks that have a history of knitting uh, Stephen West shawls, but the Doodler shawl in, of course, my own colorways. Really love it. It's very much similar to Dotted Rays in the main section, but we have this cabled business going across the top and then we'll eventually pick up the bottom and knit uh some some lovely feather and fan type stuff across the bottom in one more color so i'm using my own uh colorways again this is on a non-superwash base Oh, wait. Um, uh, oh, no, because <laughs> the main color is was used up. So this is on a non superwash base um, of. Oh, shoot, I cannot remember what it's made up of. But anyway, it's a, uh, it's, it's really quite I'll, maybe I'll put it down here below. But yeah, loving how this is going. Of course, you can see how much I got done. I got like I'm almost done with the cables across the top, um, and then I'm getting ready to pick up and do the fun stuff at the bottom to round it out. Which um, we'll see when I get back to this because I'm going to be monogamously on clue two until that is done for this week. So there we go. Um, little shop news update. Um, those of you who watched um, um, Irina Shar's uh, fiber chats this past week, will probably saw yours truly as a guest 
um, on her Fiverr Chats, which was very, very sweet of her to invite me to be interviewed by her. She's a lovely person to to sit around and chat with and talk to. Um, uh, so if you haven't checked out her channel, make sure you go over to Fiverr Chat, Fiber Chats, check out. Uh, she has tons of conversations with lots of different fiber enthusiasts from around the world, of which she chose to talk to me. Um, which is, again, I am humbled by the fact that she did that. Um, it came out on my birthday, which was really great. And there is a coupon code for Mount Carmel Yarns uh, in the show notes of that. Um, so be sure to go check that out. It's a 10% off code uh, there. So go check out the Fiber Chats. It's, I believe it's episode 58 featuring myself, Scott Strong Wallace. Uh, go check that out. Um, watch the show, use the coupon code, go over to Mount Carmel Yarns and, uh, you know, make a purchase. Um, cause I want to give you, I want to get some of that, some of my yarn out to you all, um, to make use of. And of course this shawlography is in my own colorways. So, uh, go check those out. So you can see they, they do play nicely together. They do knit up very, very lovely. Um, so, um, yeah. So that's um, as far as I've gotten. I'm still very excited about this process, um, about knitting this particular shawl and uh, in, enjoying the, the, the fun of this. So it's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, not much else going on. Those are my, the uh, two Stephen West projects that I have on the needles uh, using my own yarn. So really, I'm not talking about anybody else's. Um, I did get some lovely birthday gifts from the family. Um, I got a uh, spin dryer, <laughs> which will make uh, drying my dyed yarn so much faster and easier uh, to have a spin dryer. Um, and I got some... Uh, some um, gift certificates to the local dye shop or the local um yarn shop around here my local yarn shop which is actually about uh 40 30 40 miles away 30 miles away um in newton which is just north of wichita uh, it's called the creation station uh it's a lovely little yarn shop um i was not able to go up there this weekend uh but uh uh, I hope to be able to do that next weekend. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for this next week. So yeah, pushing forward on good old shawlography. Um, I've seen many of you out there uh, and seen uh, a lot of your guys' progress out there on Instagram. Your shawls are looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, keep sharing your progress keep showing what you're working on and if you're not working on shawlography share what you are working on i would love to see um what other projects you have going on and um uh, yeah so well that's really all i had i that i wanted to sit, talk about today was a little bit of the progress and a little bit of my uh, um how my brain got really tired before I started this project and wasn't paying attention and to do some ripping back. So anyway, I've got, I've got a good, good pace going on now. Uh, I think we're, I'm on track to be, to be done hopefully by about midweek. That's, that's my hope is by Wednesday evening that I have clue two finished and I'm, am, am ready to uh, move back over to the doodler. Uh, so we can make some progress on that as well. Um, with that being said, um, I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful fall. Hey, those of you who made it to Rhinebeck, man, I am so jealous. I've seen many of you guys' pictures on Instagram, uh, as I followed, uh, the, some of the, some of the activities there. Um, I hope you had a lovely time. I hope you had a safe time. Um, and, uh, I, I kind of would love to go, uh, to that next year. I, I think that would be, that's, that's maybe a goal as long as, um, things can remain moving forward in terms of this pandemic, uh, and that we don't take any 
dramatic steps backwards then next year might feel comfortable enough to make that travel so anyway i hope you all have had a lovely week i hope you have a lovely upcoming week as well and um so with that uh may you have peace in your home and the fullness of joy for all who dwell there bye Thank you.